Hi everybody, it's Susan. Hope everybody's doing well today. Sorry if I sound a little blah. I'm not feeling that great this afternoon. Anyway, I wanted to share something with you. Um, during the week, I had went into a local gift shop and I was just browsing. And when I had went into uh, the back of the gift shop, there was a young lady, a woman, <clears throat> who was making these... Um, gifts for like some kind of a party or whatever and um, I was just uh, commenting how you know how uh, pretty it looked and then again saying to myself oh my god I know if I get a hold of that project it'll most certainly look better than hers not to sound stuck up or anything but I was really you know anyway um, I was watching her how she had done it and thought that I would um, you know, I don't, I'm not stealing her idea. I don't even know her. But um, she, I said to her how really pretty they were. And, you know, she said that she had seen someone make them a while ago. And now she's been making them and selling them for, like, little trinkety gifts for, like, Sweet Sixteen and bridal showers. And I thought, what a fun idea for me to make um, something like this. Just as a little something when I meet a friend or it happens to be my sister's birthday coming. And I wanted to give her, you know, an, an envelope with some money in it for her to buy something for her birthday for me, like she did for me last week. And I thought, you know, just, I wanted to make her, she's always buying cards, so I wanted to make her um, a package of gift set uh, cards, uh, the 3 by 3s and the A2s, and I thought that I would add a pen with it, maybe, uh, like this woman was putting together in this gift shop. So, I, um took it upon myself to try and make these and it was really easy what I used I don't know what she was using her stuff looked more like it was um, flowers off of uh, like large uh, arrangements that you can buy like for you know ten or fifteen dollars you get like twenty flowers on one bunch that you could put on on your table kind of look and so I was just glancing while I was looking around what she was doing. And it, you didn't have to be like a college graduate to do this or anything. So I had a couple of pens uh, that were laying around in a plastic in my desk drawer, which looked like this. And um, this is what she was using. I don't, I don't know if it was this exact brand or whatever, but she was using pens. And I saw how she pulled out this little plastic thing. I know years ago when I was in school I used to pull that out and chew on the end and terrible things to it but I would you know uh, rip off the end and, and have the edge open. I don't know why I used to do that but I did it when I was really young. Anyhow um, so she took the tip out and she was putting flowers inside of the tip and she was doing a little bit more to it, like little flowers and shooting pearls and all these little things. Of course, if I were to sit down with some other more refined supplies, I can assure you that my pen would have looked much more amazing than hers. And she was selling hers for money, too. Go figure. Anyway, so what I had done was I have this package of flowers. As you can see, um, I really haven't used many of these. I think I had given my friend Nikki three of these way back. I'm not sure, so don't quote me. And um, I had just used three of them, and there's three left in there. These I got at the, um, the wedding section at Michael's. I don't know how much they cost, maybe $5.99. Very pretty flowers, but um, I make my own flowers, so I really haven't used them at all and I've had them for quite a while so I thought what better reason to get rid of that big chunky plastic uh, than to make something so um, what I had done was is I uh, stuck one of these flowers inside of the um, of the tip of the pen I put a little glue down and I used floral tape and um, I used it all the way down with the glue gun here and there just to secure it the only thing I don't like about it, which, um, you know, I didn't really ask her, I didn't even talk much about it with her at all, uh, was it's left with that sticky kind of feel. So then the flower is white, right, and it's all smooshed together, so I wound up spray painting the flower uh, with some various color glimmer mist. I'm just going to put my light on here. 
and I um, hope you can see that a little bit better but look how pretty that color is the haunted shadows and I mixed that in with some old lace and some pearl glimmer mist just to randomly you know shoot colors here and there and then I printed out this little uh, tag on my Cricut I stamped happy birthday on one side and um, made for you made just for you by Susan on the other side and I used this little pretty uh, cord with the balls on it that my friend Nikki gave me in a birthday uh, gift uh, last week very pretty and so I made that one for my sister I know she likes that color um, and this one I made for my mom it's uh, it's a combination of some reds some of that haunted shadows on the edges some gold uh, a little bit of uh, pearl and that's all the glimmer mist and when it gets wet it's the the flower itself becomes much easier to work with but you need to be careful because it's paper and you could tear it easily so um, very uh, gently I stretched all the flowers out as best as I could without tearing anything and then I had turned the flower upside down and I just kept using my heating gun for about 15-20 minutes and I was actually burning the edges a little bit with the heating gun which kind of worked out nice because it gave it that little bit of a vintage feel and there's no tag on that yet because I just finished and I wanted to share that with you and my friend is taking me out tonight for dinner for my birthday and I just wanted to she's always so thoughtful with me and I wanted to just make her a little thank you present for taking me out because every time I see her I always give her stuff I always make her stuff boxes of cards and things you know books and whatever so Matthew just by Susan thanks for being so special and um, that little tag there's some of that uh, really pretty um, trim that my friend Nikki gave me in the birthday rack and she happens to love the color blue so again I used the white flower stuck it in the center um, and I adhered it with a little bit of glue like the girl was doing the woman and um, yeah I just I, I spray painted this one with a green color uh, I think it's called uh, key lime pie and then another light blue spray which for some reason that um, glimmer mist I'll never buy it again in, in that blue color I'll, I'll tell you what it is just to share it with you it's called blue skies to me it doesn't have any shimmer at all so and if it does it's extremely faint I can't even see it so I use the blue a little old lace some pearl some gold some green and I kept spritzing it all around just to kind of shade it and give it like that real look effect and um, I used some uh, I don't know what color this is let me see it's um, arctic arctic ice by ice stickles it's a larger um, uh, stickles container which I have so much of I don't even use it but it came in handy this time so I have um, just all around there if you can see it um, a couple of sparkles very gently put around there and there's a little tag hanging and you know she was making these um, and how she was arranging them was um, you know sticking them in a, in a basket uh, all around as if it were to look like a centerpiece of flowers and she had them stationed I'm telling you really very pretty and it gave me such a great idea to tell my own friend who the one I'm meeting tonight she's getting married next year and I can make these for her for uh, her wedding favors or you know to uh, talk to her mom about it as a shower favor or putting it on the table for each lady to get one I mean they're really pretty I just love the idea and I have some other ideas to go along with this that's going to look really nice so um again uh, just thanks for watching and I just wanted to share this with you and um, I'm sure there are so many people out there who are making pens I haven't seen any and um this is definitely not my idea because I saw somebody else do it in the gift shop and uh, she did a really great job Again, her flowers were totally different, and her little arrangement in the tiny hole in the in the top of the pen was totally different. She had little small flowers, and then a big one in the middle with some shooting pearls and some other doodads. I think like the name tag of the person hanging out of there, and then she was wrapping them with the floral tape. So, but yeah, um, 
Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. This was a first-time shot for me, and it, it came out really cool. It's, it was fun, and overall, between drawing the flower and everything, the whole thing probably took about a half an hour. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.